Well, hey guys, I'm back again with a new tutorial. In this time, we're going to see how to use Akita inside Angular. So Akita is a state management such as Redux. Okay, so you can go to, let me go back here. Let's say Akita. Let me find that page. No, Akita Datorama. Okay, and Datorama Akita State Management Tailor. And after that, this is the GitHub. So we hit the doc site. And we are here on Edbasa Gitbook IO Akita. Okay, that's how you can find it. So the installation, you can see that we can add it using the schematics. So that's pretty good. Now, this is the application that I built. It's based on, a, on an example that um, you can find in the internet using books. So I have almost the same. This is just to show you how you can start working with Akita. But I have another example, another application using Firebase. So don't worry too much about this. This is just um, how we're going to set up. This is, of course, a full application that we're going to build, but it's based on another application. So let's say whatever. At this point, we shouldn't care about this because this is just to see that we're going to add some information. And this is adding inside the state the so let me open the development tools okay that shouldn't be okay and if i click this object you can see that we have this array of objects which are the books that are stored in a file in a json file i will show you that later so you can see we have this fa 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 whatever and is there inside the state. I can go to book details and my mouse is not freaking working so let's add whatever we want. I hit submit and if I go up there you can see that it adds or updates the information. So if I remove this submit and you can see it changes. After I go back that is gone because it's reading again from a file. So this is um, setting up everything as it is inside that file. So we cannot see the other um, book well, or the other object that we add, except if we add it here inside this page, it's added, okay? So this is what we're going to build. It's pretty simple, but this will show you how to add information inside the state using Akita and how to manage that. Delete, update of this, and then we'll move into a more complex application using Firebase and Angular, of course. So, well, I think we can start. So we close this. I will leave this one open because we're going to copy that. I already have this Angular Akita. So this is just an Angular application. Create a new one using NGNU and the name of your application, just like that. And we can go to, we can open this. It opens on my other screen. Nice. This is the other application, so let's close that. I'm going to leave that there, and we can see that this one, and you serve. Let's move this. This is just a regular Angular application using the latest CLI. So let's wait for this to run, okay? Let's wait for this, and I'm going to show you that. So I close that because I'm that smart. Okay, HTTP, localhost, 
and you can see that this is the page that we're going to see now it's, it looks different because this is the latest CLI so they change everything also they change a few things in Firebase and now it's kind of hard you know that Google likes to hide some in settings so now in order to set up a Firebase project we need to find some settings that used to be there but now are kind of hidden so just a little thing that if you're using or if you're planning to use Firebase and haven't used it well you will see that some things are different so that is application I don't know why I closed that so let's move this here and there's a way on which we can set up this but let's okay my mouse is not working correctly so what I'm going to do I already have that open what am I doing for some reason uh, my mouse is kind of um, right clicking everywhere so let's say um, ng generate component we're going to call this component book because there's a component on which we show or display the book details so let's generate that one and we're not going to generate a service because Akita is going to generate that for us so let's clear this because I have this for a reason I can tell you but I have this for a fucking reason that is taking my whole screen so sorry if you feel that you know if you're not used to this so we're going to say ng add first because we're going to add we haven't added Akita so let's just copy this and let's remove this and paste it ng add add datorama slash akita and let's hit enter so we will need to wait for this to be installed i'm not sure if it's going to take long i can't remember so uh, let's move that and we're gonna start while that is being um, I don't know why my mouse is I have another one but it's loud as hell but I guess I will have to use it because you can see that it's right clicking <coughs> in everywhere for some reason so um, this is the component oh of course let me uh, tell you something with the new CLI you will get the uh, if you want the routing and if you want um, CSS, SAS or, or anything but if you do it with git bash you will not get those um, prompts, those questions because git bash doesn't allow that okay so that's a bummer if you uh, are used to use git bash just like I am so yeah <coughs> In case you do that with a command or terminal you will be prompted if you want to use a um, navigation and all that but let's go to angular navigation and on the next video I will change my my mouse so I don't get those right clicks everywhere that are annoying as hell so let me scroll down I don't like this way of scrolling okay that is done this is too fucking big I'm sorry guys but I have this for a reason I know it's too fucking big but let's uh, go to milestone 2 routing module and integrate routing in your app so let's grab this one and after that is done it's also raining we have this heavy clouds um, cold front I think again and um, I can't remember what else so let's in install this routing and it's been kind of you know a light rain but with um, wind 
so I have some pipes out there and it's, the wind is blowing through those pipes and it's, it sounds like, you know, <laughs> so um, let's go back and I have this already added <clears throat> so we can see the app, app routing and I will add again the book routing that module that ts and let's add the module because we want lazy loading lazy loading I, well, book in um, that module that ts so that should be done and i'm just going to add some information to that we have done this before so i have the routing this is the routing, yeah. Just copy this as it is. And let's go to the module. You know, this is because uh, we want to use the lazy loading on the routes. And I'm not using forms module, so let's delete that. And just copy this, and this is going to work. Remember that these are the names of the file, book-routing.module.ts and book.module.ts. So let's minimize that, go back, and, okay, so we have that already set, and there's a way on which we can add the query entity and the service that we're going to use in order to develop our application with Akita. So we're going to use ngg. AF and we're going to give it a name so because this is a books application let's call it books so we hit enter and this is going to create you can see it creates the store the query the service that's why I haven't added a new service using ng generate service because Akita is going to handle its own service so we're going to build on top of that Okay, so I will show you, and of course the model, I will show you, okay, I stamped that there, no, that wasn't, so you can see we have this state, and I haven't uh, um, done these tutorials in a while, like um, almost a month, we are 18 now, yes, almost 20 days or more. So I'm kind of rusty with this. Sorry guys if I'm going or too fast or maybe not as fast as I did in the past. <coughs> but we have the book model inside this state. This is created using the NGGAF and the name that we want to use. You can see here, okay? So we don't have to generate all that in some tutorials that you will see in um, on the internet you will have to generate this by hand but right now it's not needed so this is pretty useful so you um, inside here we have the export interface we will add the settings or the properties for the book inside here later so right now we're just going to go through this kind of fast and we're going to use this as a partial of the book and properties so partial is going to set everything inside the books to be um, optional okay and all that is being returned as a book now the query the query is going to allow us to um, fetch the information from the state something like firebase <coughs> if you um, or a database so this is something similar to that now inside the service you can see that we have already some um, methods the update remove and add which are the methods that we're going to use in order to add information using the add to update information inside the the store and to remove parts of the um, books you know to remove the books inside the store they also give us this HTTP because they assume that we're going to call an HTTP um, or that we're going to make HTTP request 
from my API, say something um, Node.js and or Python, Flask. So they already give us, you can see that we have, and everything of, of course is being added, <clears throat> the book and tab. Um, I think we're not going to use tab in this case, but uh, the bookstore and the book interface or model is being added. So we don't have to worry about that. Now, as I said, um, this is a way on which you are going to return <coughs> from the API. And maybe we will do this, um, you know, to convert something that we have in Angular and Node and turn it in order to use the state management Akita. But by now, um, we're not going to use this. But this is something that uh, you need to keep in mind. You will receive the information from the request from the API and then set it inside the entities. So all that you get here using tab, of course, is going to allow us to add the entities that we receive from the API into the storage or the store. I don't know why I say storage, the store and handle that as usual. This is something like a database. You can think of this something like a mix of a database and something like Redux. So, uh, because they give us some other methods that we can use in order to query the store and to receive all that we want. Okay, so that's it. And this is a store, okay? Everything is predefined now, so we don't have to worry about that, only to build what we are going to build. And this is it. This is a state that we create using the NGGAF and the name. So let me show you that again in case you missed that. Okay, so this is the code that is going to generate the store, query, service, and model. I think we're going to leave this here because in case you want to try it. And... Um, yeah, so we will continue building this now that we have everything except for the lazy routing. We haven't added that, but we will add it in the next video. So, you know, that is pretty fast to add. So that's it for this one. And let me just get my OBS and see you in the next one.